Hai selamat sore Untuk sore hari ini saya akan mengajarkan BIPA menengah Dengan materi rasa dan lingkungan di pertemuan keempat Terima kasih Apa kabar? Baik Baik, Baik. Luar biasa Luar biasa oh. Amazing <laughs> Oke okay. Hujan? Hujan hmm. Hujan di luar oh. Raining? Ya hujan Hujan? Ya. Oke okay. Now okay. For the introduction, maybe this is only for intermezzo. Before we go to the real material about environment. So about rasa, I just want to remind you when you are in Indonesia or have you ever learned about rasa, taste? Mm -hmm. What kind of taste you you know in Indonesia? Rasa apa yang sudah tahu? Pedas. Pedas, oke. Okay. Pedas, manis. Asam. Asam. Taste. Gurih. Gurih, oke. Okay. So this is. Gula. Gula merah, like brown sugar, but in a very thick, ya. Yeah. This is manis, ya yeah, manis. Asam. 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 What is? Asin. Asin. Salty. Yeah, salty. This one, guri. Like guri is the combination of sweet and salty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Asam dan manis. <coughs> and then pahit. Pahit. Bitter. Mm. Yeah, pahit. Have you ever tried this fruit in Indonesia? Yeah. Bitter water, no, 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 no. This is pare. pare. This is very bitter. Yeah. It's called bitter watermelon. In, 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 oh, you have it here. No, it's just cold. Like that. You have it in Poland? Uh, not in Poland, but you can buy it in a, uh, like in an Asian shop. Oh, okay. On yeah. Asian market. So you call it bitter watermelon because yeah. it's bitter. Bitter melon. Bitter melon. Mm. Okay. <laughs> because it's very, very. I don't like this fruit actually. Actually, they use it for vegetables. I mean, like. They fried and salty, yeah. This is very common. Pedas. This is chabe or chili. Chabe. And the texture in Indonesia. The texture of this pudding. Lembut. This is keras or hard, keras, like a stone. This is crunchy, renyah, like a chips, like a tortilla, yeah, renyah. What was the name of this? Kerupuk. Kerupuk. <laughs> This is kerupuk. Pernah coba kerupuk? Yeah. Pernah bapak? Oh, saya tidak bawa. Saya... Saya lupa bawa kopi, saya lupa bawa teh. Later, if I come again to work, so I will bring the crew. <laughs> And then this is like a meatball. It is kenyal, like bakso. like a ravioli. Yeah, ini bakso. Ini bakso. Where can I get bakso in Poland? Bisa di luar Jakarta. Oh, luar Jakarta. Oh, they have bakso. Mau bikin sendiri di rumah. Bikin sendiri di rumah. <laughs> But it's different. Like we should add like some flowers, uh, flowers and rice flowers, and then some. You can probably buy frozen. Oh yeah, in, in? somewhere in the Asian supermarket. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. So what texture is this? Kenyal. But in English. Kenyal is like um, gooey. Oh gooey. Gooey. Okay. Yeah. Gooey, like, like a gum. <laughs> Gooey. Okay. Berserat. What is berserat? Berserat. Bain. Yes. What? Bain. Ah, oh, how? I don't know how to write this one. Bain. 
Yeah. <laughs> this is a meat actually. <laughs> this is a meat. So it's quite hard if it is not cooked. Okay, now I want you to tell me nine foods from Indonesia that you still remember. This is for Inter Miso. Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Oh. Mi goreng, nasi campur, nasi campur, mix rice. Yeah. Bakmi goreng. Bakmi goreng. Bakso. Bakso. Rendang. Rendang. Mi goreng sudah, okay. Soto ayam. Soto ayam, okay. Ada the soup, namanya. Soup. Soto. We have a lot of soto. Soto ayam. Coto. We have soto and coto. Ayam bakar. Cap chai. Ayam bakar, ya. Gado-gado. Gado-gado, Indonesia. Salad. What else? What else do you know? You never, you never taste. Okay. Kelepon. Kelepon, okay. That's the cake, ya. You like kelepon? Balado goreng. Balado goreng. Oh, nice. With the hot rice. You make me miss my country now. Ikan bakar. Ikan bakar. Ya. Udang bakar. Ya. Cumi. Cumi. Like in Borneo, you can find a lot of seafood because that's the place of seafood. Bubur. Bubur. Porridge. Ya. Bubur. Pisang goreng. We cannot fry kafendis. Kafendis. Banana, right? Do you have like? Special banana to be fried here? No. We don't have any bananas. Well, and that one all it's it's imported. You know. Oh, okay. It's a little bit too cold here. No, I want you to find a food here. The pork, I think. Yeah, you can grab. You can grab it. You can see it. You can my favorite. You can circle. You can circle things. Oh, I can see. Yeah, okay, Kelepon. <laughs> because you like Kelepon. Your favorite, okay. What else? Okay. Rendang. It's my favorite. Your favorite is Rendang, that's why. Okay. You see that? You can just circle. Yeah. Gado gado. Yeah. Where is the chart? Like it's reverse. Yeah. Yeah, nasi goreng where? Ah, here. Yeah, nasi goreng. Yeah, okay, great. And we have it again like pisang goreng actually. If you can see pisang goreng. Nasi goreng. I can't see this. You can see this. Yeah. Last row. And last row, yes, pisang goreng. The last row. The whole last row. What else? Soto? Soto, great. Soto, my favorite. Soto. What else? It could be reverse. It could be diagonally. Me? Have you tried Sarabi? Oh, I wanted to. Sarabi? No. Sarabi is Indonesian pancake. It is served with uh, gula merah, uh, brown sugar, and a bit flour, and uh, coconut milk. Yeah. So the soup, uh, they have like, they have to pour uh, that that soup, sweet soup. It is another pancake also made of tranggulan or martabak. Oh, martabak. Martabak. But martabak is only in Java and Bali. In Borneo, we call it terang bulan, like the light moon. Terang bulan. Okay, is that the only? Actually, yeah. We have we have bakso here, bakso, and then we have tempe as well. And then we have tahu, and then we have nagasari. What's that? Nagasari is a cake made by rice flour, 
and there is the banana inside and cover with a banana leaves and oh, then they yeah. boil and then they steam it mm -hmm. so it's quite oh, sweet yeah, yeah. You, you remember it yeah. okay okay that's all about the food are you feeling hungry right now <laughs> sudah makan <laughs> sudah makan great now we are talking about environment Lingkungan, lingkungan or environment. As you know, how do you think about Indonesian environment? Plastic, banyak. Plastic, okay. What else? Have you ever heard the news about environment in Indonesia? Uh, volcano. Volcano, yeah, okay. It's a broken. It's called. Uh, Earthquake. Earthquake, okay. Yeah, tsunami, so it's quite tsunami. tsunami. Yeah. All what the, else? All the, all the good things. All the good things? <laughs> That's okay, no problem. What else? What kind of environment environment in Indonesia you have ever heard? Or now directly? What do you think? Do you have any opinion about environment? Okay now I have Can you? Okay, wait. This one. Actually, bangsa at yeah, it should be reverse. You have to open the first, the second, the second one. Up? Oh, no, 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 no. This one, yeah, yeah. this one, this one is. <laughs> Okay, this one, I want you to understand the information, paham informasi, dan actually this is descriptive report, yeah, and you know the social function and the goal or the aim of this report, and then I want you later to make the interview of the environment things. And then writing a descriptive report, if we have still have a time. So I want you to <coughs> understand this word first. And make a sentence. Which one that you don't understand? Um. Compost? Compost? Yeah, Surya is like a solar, solar, solar energy. Uh, solar. Yeah. Uap is a steam. Uap. Uap. Steam. 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 Steam from boiling water. Ah. Yeah, uap. Iklim? Iklim like uh, weather, actually. Climate. Climate, yeah. Climate or, yeah. Pemanasan global. Global warming. Yeah, global warming. Daur ulang? Recycle. Recycle. Now in Indonesia, we are in some cities already applying. Like in Bali, we'll be. We are there. In Balikpapan, in my city, we are not using a plastic bag anymore. Like here, we should pay uh, expensive, or we bring our own bag. <coughs> we are starting to do it like here. <laughs> now, after you understand these words, I want you to make a simple sentence based on each words of this slide. Can you make it? Anything simply. For each of these.
Finès. 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 Ok, va para. Start from compost, ya. Ha comenzado a compost de kebun saya. De kebun saya, ok. Surya adalah energi penting. Ya. Uap adalah gas-gas rumah kaca. Ya, ok. Selalu saya... Saya selalu. Saya selalu melakukan daur ulang. Daur ulang. Saya tidak percaya pada pemanasan global. Oh, Bapak tidak percaya pemanasan global? Tidak. Oke. Klima berubah tetapi tidak oleh manusia. Oh, oke. Bapak harus ke Indonesia untuk merasakan panas global. Here tidak panas, tapi di Indonesia very. It changes like the temperature is getting higher every day. Ya, Marta, Mbak Marta. Kami bisa pakai kompos untuk tumbuh bunga. Tumbuhkan, menumbuhkan. Ah, menumbuhkan. Menumbuhkan, like growing. Menumbuhkan, ya. Bunga. Menumbuhkan bunga. Banyak rumah di Indonesia sekarang ada surya di atas untuk hemat energi. Surya energi, energi surya. Energi surya. Energi surya. Tapi ya untuk hemat. Untuk hemat energi, ya. Hemat energi. Uap adalah sumber tenaga yang menjadi lebih popular di dunia. Yang menjadi lebih popular di dunia. Semua orang harus mengurus tentang iklim di dunia. Mengurus. Mengurus. Ya, mengurus tentang mengurus iklim. Iklim. Maksudnya peduli. Bukan mengurus, peduli. Like taking care, right? Peduli. Ya, taking care. Peduli. Pemanasan global adalah pemanasan. Pemanasan. Pemanasan lagi. Pemanasan global adalah isu yang paling penting sekarang. Iya, okay. Satu salah caranya. Salah satu. Ah, salah satu. Salah satu. Salah satu caranya mendukung untuk lingkungan adalah daur ulang. Iya, okay. Ola. Saya menganggap hanya lima kalimat. Yes, okay. Saya mengambil kompos di tamanku. Okay. Jadi kompos bapa diambil Ola. Oh, energi surya. Iya. Bantuan orang-orang membela lingkungan. Bantuan orang-orang membela lingkungan. Maksudnya? Environment. What do you mean in English? Protect environment. Protect. Oh, to membela. Membela. No, no. Bukan membela. Melindungi. Melindungi. You know how to write melindungi? Melindungi. So membela is. Membela is like a different case. Membela also protect, but if someone's fighting, then you can membela your friend. You can protect your friend means like membela your friend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, iklim di Indonesia baik sekali. Baik sekali. Orang-orang sering membicarakan. Pemanasan global. Pemanasan. Pemanasan global. Kita harus daur ulang semua sampah. Iya. Semua sampah. Okay. Harus. Iya, iya. Berapa ni presensi? No problem. Surya adalah terbarukan. Energi surya adalah. Surya adalah energi terbarukan, renewable. Pemanasan. Global adalah ancaman untuk kesehatan. Iya. Untuk 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 ancaman untuk untuk lingkungan. 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 Ya lingkungan. Polandia iklim adalah sedang. Iklim Polandia. Iklim Polandia. Adalah sedang. Sedang. Mild. Temperate. Iya. Oh okay. But not for me. It's cold. Ya, and you? Temanku membuat bubuk kompos. Tanam 
mungkin di alur tentang gambar bunga untuk kehidupan kita. Iya. Aku sangat suka makan sayuran uap. Sayuran uap? Uap. Oh. Uap ya. Sayuran. Iya. Kalau masak, namanya kukus. Kalau dimasak, nama makanannya dikukus. Like rice in Indonesia, we should boil it first and kukus. Rebus dulu, baru kita kukus. Steam. Yeah, steam. So I can use it. Yeah, you cannot use it for. So it should be makan sayuran kukus ya. Yeah, makan sayuran kukus. Yeah. So okay, so I don't have this. Yeah, okay. Tapi nak apa? Tak. Eh, ada iklim yang berbeza di dunia. Iya. Berbeza beda. Berbeza beda. Like many. Ada iklim. Iya, ada iklim ya. There is right. There is a different. Yeah. Okay. Berbeza berbeza. Berbeza beda. Ah, berbeza. It means like a lot different. A lot of difference on various. Okay. Teman asam global sangat berbahaya bagi seluruh dunia. Dunia, okay. Dan daur ulang dapat membantu membersihkan lahan. Lahan, okay. Lahan mana? Okay, before we go to the material, I have the video that I would like to show. Here, the video of news from Nat TV about. Bank sampah or garbage bank, yeah. Pengelolaan sampah bisa dilakukan dengan berbagai cara, salah satunya dengan konsep bank sampah. Cukup nyetor sampah-sampah di rumah Anda dan uang akan Anda miliki dalam tabungan bank sampah. di tempat yang benar. Nah kali ini saya mau buang sampah di bank sampah, bank yang tabungannya sampah. Bank sampah salah satunya ada di kawasan Rawajati, Jakarta Selatan. Sebelum masuk bank, sampah dipilah dulu, organik. Atau kan organik? Pak, apa kabar pak? Hei, baik mes. Ini saya bawa sampah nih. Oh, bawa sampah. Cihil. Boleh, tak kena kita sini mas. Sini ya. Saya pilah. Pilah dulu ya? Pilah. Nah, sebelum yang namanya bang sampah, nah sampah-sampah ini harus dipilah-pilah dulu ya pak ya. Sesuai dengan perluan. Wah. Organik yang mudah membusuk seperti Sisa makanan, sayur, dan daun-daun. Anorganik yang sulit membusuk seperti botol dan kantong plastik, kaleng, dan sterofok. Nah kalau plastik ini terurai tergantung ketebalannya. Bisa mencapai 40 tahun atau sampai ratusan tahun. Tapi hmm. kalau yang ini, ini namanya sampah purba. Ribuan tahun pun, ini sterofok ini nggak bisa terurai. So far did you get? Did you get? So far, Bapa Andre. How long it takes? Yeah, to be recycled. Yeah. Hmm, sampah organik diolah menjadi kompos atau pupuk alami. Prosesnya makan waktu dua minggu. Bapak Di, ya. Tersirat ide seperti ini tuh awal mulanya tuh seperti apa sih pak? 
itu diawali warga supaya menanam tanaman lima pot lama-lama menjadi 20 pot setelah 20 pot itu warga keberatan untuk media tanamnya kemudian juga untuk kompos atau pupuknya suruh mengumpulkan sampah rumah tangganya kemudian diberikan ilmu atau caranya membuat pupuk itu begini Saya mau menabung sampah nih. Kalau oh, pengen menjadi menabung sampah harus menjadi anggota baru, menjadi terus namanya di sini. Nah, sahabat baru seperti saya dapat buku tabungan. Oh, ini dia tak sake tabungan sampah kering. Karena saya anak sahabat baru, jadi saya harus mengisi ini, Bu ya. Iya. Setelah mengisi ini kemana, Bu? Masuk di timbang, apa yang dibawa? Oh, sampahnya di timbang. Iya. Lalu di sini juga ada harga-harganya nih, Bu ya. Setelah di timbang nanti di dihargai sesuai rincian ini. Ayo, kita timbang dulu. Satu koma dua. Satu koma dua, waduh. Saldo tabungan saya di bank sampah ini bertambah seribu tujuh ratus rupiah. Satu koma dua. Jadi udah bu ya, seribu tujuh ratus ya. Oke. Sampah saya dihargai 1700 Tapi ada sampah yang dihargai mahal Paling mahal ya Yaitu aluminium Satu kilonya bisa 9000 rupiah ya Bu ya Sampah yang diterima dimasukkan dalam berangkas sampah Aman Bu ya Setiap bulu sekali Pengepul akan datang dan membelinya Aman. Ada palingnya nggak, Bu? Enggak sih, ada yang jagain. Oh, kalau bang uang tuh ada palingnya, kalau ini cari mencuri ya. Nah, hasil penjualan dipakai membayar tabungan nasabah dan biaya operasional bank. Nah, nah, tadi satu karung aja udah menghasilkan uang. Gimana kalau saya bawa? Satu gerobak ini yang membiasakan buang sampah pada tempatnya untuk kehidupan kita di masa depan yang lebih baik. Alright. So what did you get of the videos of the news? Apa yang didapat dari berita? Well, that's the culture, new culture in Indonesia. Like we collect a garbage, and then we submit it, and we got the money. Mm -hmm. Are you having that culture too here? If you are throwing a garbage, and then you got the money. I think with bottle, it's possible. And with paper. Or bottle and paper. You got money after that. Okay. You have it also here, like garbage bank. Still iron. Oh, iron. Okay, like a metal. Metal. Mm. And aluminium. Uh, aluminium copper. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now I want you to read, and I want you only give me the topic of the first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, and fifth paragraph. Write down on your book the topic every single paragraph what is uh, manfaat? manfaat is the function or aim uh -huh. Uh -huh.
who want to say the first sentence of uh, first topic topic sentence of first paragraph artinya bank sampah ya yeah, definisi hmm. definisi hmm. bank sampah, sampah. oke okay, you all good hmm. and then paragraph kedua siapa yang bisa siapa yang mau caranya bank sampah bekerja oke okay. what about you oh, tidak tahu tidak tahu bapak Oh, Iga. Ya, cara bank sampah bekerja. Ya. Cara bank sampah bekerja. The way how bank sampah works. Uh, you supposed to be like collected first, yeah, and then written in the book. <coughs> and also the people who collect garbage, they can borrow money. And given back in the form of garbage based on the amount of the equal garbage they collect, they submit and then paragraph ketiga benda-benda bisa diciptakan dari sampah? iya, barang-barang barang-barang barang-barang, ya, stuffs yang bisa diciptakan atau didaur ulang, hmm. recycle dari sampah. Apa saja? Setiap produk orang, uh -huh. bapak. Satu kilogram sampah per hari. Mm -hmm. Oh, ya. Setiap nasabah harus kalau sudah jadi nasabah, if they already become a member, they should at least one kilogram per day. Mm -hmm. Per hari. Ya. Dan bisa jadi tas, dompet. Tisu, place, and many others. Paragraf keempat. Tujuan bank sampah. Tujuan bank sampah. Tujuan didirikan. I mean like established. Ya, yeah. why bank sampah? Bank sampah is established. Oh, manfaatnya yang paling penting dari bank sampah. Manfaat bisa juga. Man, tujuannya tujuan dan manfaat actually. There are two two topics, two main sentences. Main idea of the fourth paragraph, tujuan dan manfaat kenapa bank sampah didirikan. Or the reason, actually. The reason why. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Paragraf kelima, terakhir. Ya, yeah, itu bisa pakai alasan. Alasan semua orang harus berpartisipasi melestarikan lingkungan. Iya, yeah, bisa. Ada lagi kata-kata lain? Ada kata-kata lain? Sekecil apapun hal baik. Ya, yeah, you know, sekecil apapun, the smallest thing of a good thing we do. Ya, yeah, uh, paragraf kelima, it could be like Mbak Marta say, or uh, the way we solve the problem of sampah, we can save the environment. Ya, yeah. the smallest thing we do, we can save. The world. How to say the the way of doing something? The way, cara kita, cara. The way is cara. Yeah. So the smallest single thing you do, we can save the world. Okay. Great. Now the question still related to this tags. What does it mean berkawan? On fourth paragraph. Line, line second actually here. Berkawan with quote. Is it not like to be known? No, to become familiar. Become familiar. Familiar. Familiar with with sampah. No. Friend. To become a friend. Yeah. What does it mean actually to become a friend? What does it mean? Not familiar? No, familiar is like relative. No, it's different. Berkawan. To be aware of it. Famili fam familiar. Familiar. Yeah, familiar. I heard the familiar. No. Familiar. Yes, familiar. So they they try to make society to be familiar. 
to be to save the environment. Yeah, that's the the meaning of berkawan in fourth paragraph. And then how to do to save in bank sampah? You know, Miss Eva, know those laws? No. You don't have any idea, okay. And how? I ask you how. In which paragraph contains the way to save in or saving in bank sampah? Kedua. Paragraph kedua, okay. Can you say? Can you say me? Say to us mm -hmm. how? How is the way? The first, you can say with the first, pertama, pertama mereka kumpulkan, kedua ditimbang, ketiga dicatat di buku rekening, keempat ditukar dengan uang sesuai dengan harga per kilo. Ya, yeah. itu adalah how. We save garbage in the garbage bag. And then nomor tiga, sebutkan keuntungan, ya, yeah, the profit, dibangun bank sampah. Besides money, tell me, selain uang, apa keuntungan kita menabung dibangun bank, menabung di bank sampah, atau dibangunnya bank sampah. The profit. Of the establishment from garbage bank. Daur ulang sampah. Daur ulang, bisa. Apalagi? Manfaat, actually. Manfaat, apa manfaatnya? Keuntungan, manfaat. Membuat to make society discipline, mm -hmm. ya, discipline to improve untuk meningkatkan penghasilan dari sampah-sampah yang mereka kumpulkan, or to make them to make them to be aware, and solution to make environment to be clean and comfortable. Itu keuntungan ada bank sampah. Number four, it's easy. Ani ingin membeli tas baru, tapi dia tidak punya uang untuk membeli. Ani memiliki banyak botol bekas. Apa yang Ani lakukan untuk mendapatkan uang dengan botol bekas tersebut? Pergi ke bank sampah. Pergi ke bank sampah, and? And ditukar uh, botol bekas untuk uang. Iya, yeah. dan menabung. Menabung bank sampah Menabung sampah Number five Menurut Anda According to you Apakah daerah tempat tinggal Anda perlu ada bank sampah? According to you Is it important in your area of living uh, Exist of bank sampah? Yeah, paling penting Penting? Yeah. Is it important? Why? Ex explain the reason. Alasan. Karena bisa melindungi lingkungan. Melindungi lingkungan, <laughs> ya. Bisa uh, memberi uang. Memberi uang. That's it. Uh -huh. Ada lagi? Is it important? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Penting. Kenapa? Bisa belajar masyarakat disiplin. Belajar disiplin, oke. Okay. Apa lagi? Bisa membuat barang-barang beda dari Be sampah Ya, bisa membuat barang dan, dari sampah Dan dijual nanti Daur ulang, ya, dan dijual, ya, handicraft Because di Indonesia, sampah-sampah recycle And then membuat tas And then membuat anything Dijual Seperti, for example, bag from a plastic of detergent They make a bag from a plastic of detergent And then they make a tissue tissue place from a smoking a cigarette box. 
Yeah, they can make it. So it can be made of anything from a garbage. And it is so. <laughs> Bisa baca tidak? Cuma beritahu saya benar atau salah. This will use your logic. Tapi sebelum membaca benar atau salah, kalian harus baca dulu teks kedua. Ada di teks kedua Tahu menimbang Scaling, yeah. yeah. There are two meaning of menimbang, scaling or weighing or considering. Oh. Yeah. It depends on the context. Pula pula. Hmm? Pula pula. Begitu pula, begitu pula means no, it's different. Begitu pula is one, one meaning like uh, uh, the same like. The same like the pattern of consumption. The same like. The same like, yeah. So pula is the pattern. Yeah? Pattern. Pula is a pattern. So pula. Is like begitu the same pula like. is like. Mm, begitu pula. Oh, okay. Yeah. Begitu pula. The same like. The same like. Lantas. Do you know lantas? Lantas is like, and then, what will, what can we do, what can be done? Lantas is, and then, but like for asking, mm -hmm. and then for asking. Lantas, then after lantas, there must be question. Indonesia is now thinking many ways to fix the system of garbage. Okay, there's another word to think in Indonesia. Memikirkan. Is the the old one? Yeah. Memikir, pikir actually. Pikir. Oh, pikir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. From pikir. Memikirkan is from pikir. Yeah, that's why. I'm pikir is think. Think. Mm -hmm. Memikirkan is thinking. So when we have men at the beginning, it's yeah, always it, it, the so, present. Yeah, mm -hmm. like continuous, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. like mm -hmm. for ing. If we have mum or mu. Mm. Okay. In the third paragraph, there is diberi nilai. It means like diberi nilai given the score, not the score, but the money. Right? For example, the most expensive one is aluminium, like the previous video. So nilai there is the money, the amount of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
finish it. Now you can finish this. After you read, then you can answer. Is it true or false? Can we try, try to do it together? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so you all finished reading this? Okay. Now we can answer number one. Okay. Meningkatnya jumlah sampah hanya karena peningkatan jumlah penduduk. What does it mean? The improvement. Meningkatnya is improvement. The improvement of the amount of garbage is because the improvement of the number of society. Is that false? True or false? That's true. No, uh, I don't want to answer. I want to ask about the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what do you want to ask? Penduduk. Penduduk is society. 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 Citizen, oh. actually. Penduduk is citizen. Oh, society okay. is masyarakat. Because I, I thought it's like seat. <laughs> duduk? No, citizen. Citizen. Okay. Penduduk. Okay, so yeah, duduk is seat, but mm -hmm. penduduk is citizen. Yeah, society. society is masyarakat. Penduduk is citizen. Is it so? No, it's true. It's true or false? Which of the paragraph that? Uh, the first one. The first paragraph. <coughs> yes, it's it's true. It's true. Yeah, the second sentence said that jumlah penduduk terus meningkat begitu pula jumlah konsumsi ya begitu pula pola konsumsi hal ini membuat volume sampah semakin meningkat ya so it makes uh, the citizen improve the number of the citizen improve dan the amount of the consumption improve and it makes the garbage a lot So it's true, benar. Nomor dua, penulis dan tim pengelola sampah mengunjungi bank sampah untuk mengambil keuntungan dari bank sampah. Do you know keuntungan? Benefit, no? Profit. The advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Keuntungan, advantage. Taking advantage. Pengelola. Pengelolaan sampah. Management. Pengelolaan sampah, tim, the team of uh, yeah, garbage management. It lies on the second paragraph. Is that true or false? Penulis means yeah, the one who wrote this paragraph. Yeah. So it's supposed to be saya here. Yeah. Benar. Yeah, benar. Benar. Inline. The others. Salah. Salah. Karena. Ini saya bersama tim project pengelolaan sampah. Iya. Look at this sentence. Mengambil dia datang Memang dia datang Mengunjungi bank sampah Tapi apakah untuk mengambil keuntungan dari bank sampah Apakah dia mengambil keuntungan Atau dia cuma mencatat Atau menginterview People around it uh, Cuma mencatat saja Cuma research Doing a research Dia tidak menukarkan sampah kan? Kan di sini meng mengambil keuntungan maksudnya e, maksud dari mengambil keuntungan adalah dia menukarkan sampah dan mendapat keuntungan juga. Hmm. Is it true or false? Tidak ada tulisan dia men mem mem menabung sampah di sini. So dia hanya belum lama ini saya bersama tim pengel proyek pengelolaan sampah mengunjungi bank sampah untuk belajar. So dia hanya belajar bukan mengambil keuntungan. Belum ada keuntungan. Iya tidak ada keuntungan. 
Hanya belajar, only study, not taking an advantage from bank sampah. Oke. Okay. Number 3, nomor 3. Setiap provinsi di Indonesia memiliki bank sampah. Every province in Indonesia false, ya. So, provinsi mana? Beberapa Beberapa tempat ya, Beberapa tempat Di mana saja? Di Sulawesi Utara Kalimantan Timur Dan Yogyakarta Kalimantan Timur is my province Where I live In Borneo Especially in my City Balikpapan It has bank sampah As you can see in Kelurahan Gunung Samarinda, Kelurahan means like the district. District of Gunung Samarinda. It's close to my house. Ya, yeah, Gunung Samarinda. And then number four. Terdapat dua kelompok sampah rumah tangga, yaitu organik dan non-organik. Yeah. Iya, yeah, it's true. Yeah. In Indonesia only two different kind. Organik and non-organik. What about here in Poland? Eh, ada lagi. Ada lagi. Plastik, plastik, gelas. Like kertas and makanan in Indonesia is organic. Tapi gelas, kaca itu non organic. Plastik di sini macam-macam ya. Okay, number five. Sampah yang sudah penuh di tong sampah akan dibuang atau dibakar oleh warga. Yang sudah penuh full. No, kalau sudah penuh mereka diambil di bank sampah. Di bank sampah, tidak dibuang atau dibakar. And then number six, sampah yang sudah ditimbang akan diberi nilai sesuai dengan harga yang ditentukan oleh pejabat setempat. Oleh pejabat setempat. No. Is it true or false? Number six. Ditentukan. Oleh bank. Oleh bank. So ini ya. salah. 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 Oke. Okay. Nomor tujuh. Pak Sobirin adalah seorang yang mendirikan bank sampah di Indonesia. Uh, Pak Sobirin ya. adalah seseorang seorang yang mendirikan ya, bank ya, sampah ya, di Indonesia. Ya. Benar. Paragraf berapa? Ketiga. Paragraf ketiga. Ya. Akhirnya. <tuh> Nomor tiga, ya Pak Sobirin mendirikan sebuah bank sampah. Nomor delapan, tahun 2010 sampah yang dikumpulkan di keluar di kelurahan Gunung Samarinda mencapai 2 sampai tiga ton per bulan. Benar. 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 Ya. Oke. Okay. Nomor sembilan, uang yang terkumpul di bank sampah dapat digunakan untuk membeli kebutuhan keluarga dan sekolah. Ya. Di paragraf berapa? Keempat. Paragraf keempat. Uang yang terkumpul dapat membantu warga. Ya. Second sentence. Jumlah uang yang terkumpul dapat membantu warga membeli kebutuhan keluarga to help the family to buy need and school school needed. School necessary. Number ten, keberadaan bank sampah, the existence of bank sampah, dapat mengubah perilaku masyarakat di suatu tempat. Is that true? According to you? Ya, benar. Benar? Ya, bisa, bisa ubah. Bisa ubah. Ya, bisa ubah perilaku. Bisa ubah perilaku. Ya, to make them to be aware of a garbage. All right, that's all. For today, I don't want to burden you. Actually, I still have like a lot, but maybe we can discuss it next week. Cultural differences between Poland. Hello, hello, teman-teman. Ini Anya Tauchak dari Polandia, masih di Polandia. Dan sekarang hari ini aku mau berbicara tentang hal yang sangat penting, cultural differences. Whoa, because you know you should know that when I came back to Poland, I have seen so many different things, and I just thought, hmm, I have to tell.
tell you about that, you know, you should know what is different in Poland and what is different in Indonesia and you cannot find in Poland, yeah, something like that, yeah? <laughs> I want you next week, you still bring this one, yeah? Mm -hmm. No more! Satu! The left hand, you know, this is really important thing because, because in Indonesia people use left hand to wash this uh, intimate, let's say, parts of the body, yeah? <coughs> so, for example, when they go to the toilet, they don't use this toilet paper, yeah? How we use it here in Poland. <laughs> it's so, I'm so shy to talk about that, yeah? But yes, it's like that. You should know, you should know. So it's for you, especially for you, 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 who are laughing now. Yes, yeah, for you. So you should know, yeah, that in Europe, we don't have the special shower, um, which is situated next to the toilet. Which here is confused me. <laughs> and we don't wash our <clears throat> intimate parts of the body after <laughs> using the toilet, but we use toilet paper. So this is the difference. In Indonesia, they wash their parts of the body using this left hand. So this is why usually this left hand, they see it like a dirty hand, let's say, dirty hand. So this is why they usually don't pass things using this left hand. So for example, if you buy something in the market, in the shop, you should pass money or pass something to someone using this right hand. But if, for example, you have something in your hands, yeah, and you have only your left hand free, you can do it, but you should say, oh, permissi, yeah? Permissi. Something like that. So you should really remember about that because it's really super, super important thing. So, left hand in Indonesia, no. In Poland, in Europe, yeah, no problem. Nomardua is showing emotions feelings in a public area it's also important you know because here in Poland usually when you meet up with your friends and for example also you see your good friend walking the street you just come to this friend and you just hug him or sometimes for example you kiss so it's possible here in Europe in Poland but again in Indonesia ooh, Please, please forget about it. Forget about it. Sometimes there are some exceptions, yeah? <coughs> that in the park, uh, couples are hugging, are kissing. But I've heard also that there is one person in the park, like security, let's say, who is checking if couples are hugging each other and are kissing. And he says, please don't do it, it's a public place, you cannot do it like that. So, yes, uh, you should also be careful and you should also remember about it because it's a really important thing. And in Poland, opposite, yeah, you can do it. But of course, there's a line. <laughs> you also cannot cross this line, but usually, yes, it's more than in Indonesia. Yes, like that. <laughs> no more tiga, number three. Here I have <laughs> the cover, yes, uh, of the magazine. This is a Vogue from France. Who is here? Oh, look at that. Yes, this is a woman almost naked. You can see only panties, yeah, only one part of bikini. And the thing is that, yes, in Europe is possible, especially in the summertime. You can see, you know, in the street, in many banners and billboards with this kind of publicity. For example, here, yeah? So you can see uh, this woman, this publicity, or even like that, and even, uh, even like that. Oh, come on, come on, yeah, even like that. Ooh, okay, too cool. <laughs> but in Indonesia, again, okay, it's completely different. I was watching TV with my friends. I was so shocked, you know, because in one movie, uh, one girl showed too much of, uh, of this part, yeah, of the body, and they used this uh, sensor. Even cartoon. It was in the whole movie, yeah, we and I also asked my friends, and they said, Hmm, Anya, but it's every time like that. In every movie, I was really, really surprised. It's really different in Poland, it's really different in Europe. We have really, really, you know, like, let's say, open movies. <laughs> European lifestyle and Indonesian lifestyle. For example, 
in Indonesia, when you go to Warung, to small restaurant, let's say, you order something like, uh, I don't know, like tea or juice, automatically people give you this uh, drink with sugar. And even if, for example, you say sometimes without sugar, they will put anyway automatically this sugar to your drink. In Europe we consider sugar that is not healthy. And now more and more people in Poland are becoming interested in this kind of healthy lifestyle. Now we use this kind of substitute, like maybe honey, or this kind of stuff. In Indonesia, you drink uh, everything, almost everything with sugar. So sugar, 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 sugar. Yeah. Very sweet. No more Lima! No i weź tu przejdź, nie? <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. This is about the rules in the street. From my point of view, in Indonesia there are not so many rules. If you want to cross the street, it's really, really hard because usually drivers, motorbike drivers or drivers from the car don't stop. And you just have to, you know, like run or, I don't know, like escape sometimes. And it's really, really dangerous, you know. If you want to cross the street, you should use uh, your uh, hand <laughs> and just, you know, like point like that with this hand and uh, try to stop drivers and usually they will stop. Yeah. <laughs> who also wants to cross the street just you know like go of this person and just go follow. It. the way what you can do if you are in Indonesia because usually in Europe I was also really really surprised you know because I came back here after one year of living in Indonesia for example and I wanted to cross the street but they stopped you know next to this <laughs> zebra <laughs> I see people like trying to say usually. usually. Sometimes, of course, they are crazy. Stop. They can just you know, like go over fast. But <laughs> usually, people stop, and you can cross the street really, really safely. And also, teman teman dari Indonesia, yeah, you, you, you. If you went to another country, if you went abroad, and you also want to share something that I didn't mention about in this video, of course, let me know. Write your comment here. Thank you, terima kasih. Terima kasih. Semoga banyak membantu semuanya. Kalian semua. Sampai jumpa minggu depan. Sampai jumpa. Terima kasih.